lived underneath bridges. Had ridges for ribs that dropped off into empty chests as if your hearts were all stolen treasures. As if an excavation crew were hired to dig up and remove the part of you that let you feel. And while the world above you invented the wheel, you stayed put. Knowing it would one day need to roll over top of you to get to where it's going. You had an endlessly flowing supply line of food. You began to brood over humanity and made meals of our hope, as if crushing our spirits would make your mirrors cast better reflections than the ones they gave, as if the only way you could save yourselves was to make the world ugly so no one would notice you hiding in it. You learned to knit pain into a kind of camouflage, treated hope like a mirage that you could use to lure in your next meal. You lived off of our fears if you could taste what we feel. Every night, as the moon with bedtime stories to sunlight, you took darkness as an invite to head out into the world. You curled your hands into wrecking balls. Your breath became squalls. You made rocks rumble. You made land shiver. You made boys and girls pray that someone would deliver them from you. We told them, you aren't real. You have coasted the sober back into bars, handed out cigars at memorials, offered nooses, cliffs, and pills to those who unfortunately found you before they found help. You have praised suffering, waltzed in between tragedies, gracefully dipping misery as if we would somehow be impressed with the dexterity of your animosity. You have cheered on, laid, dashed through police tape as if it were the finish line in a race of who can be off. Even now, you somehow see this as an invitation to turn your keyboards into catapults, wondering which one of you can be the first to hate this best. You're loathing, already dressed in riot gear, ready to incite rage, as if each message board is a stage where you recite hostility, turning freedom of speech into freedom of cruelty. We are stuck with you. The same way you are stuck with you. We can no longer afford to tell ourselves that you aren't real. We will not let you make your dinners out of the things we feel. <laughs>